In March of 1942, the military started training dogs to aid humans in war. Next week is National Military Working Dog Day, and ahead of that occasion, MTN's Ryan Gamboa caught up with Air Force canines and their handlers for this story. Lay down. Lay down. Well, Augie is nowhere near trained. He's fluffy and he's cute, but he's harmless. But at the kennel facility at Malmstrom Air Force Base, their military working dogs are used for a higher purpose. Uh, the military working dogs are a force multiplier and they assist with the delay, deny, detect, and defeat enemy forces. He's super energetic. He's so energetic. He loves to like just have fun and play around. Um, but when it's time for business and time to work, he just kicks it up right away. Good boy, stay. Paul is a six-year-old German Shepherd Good. Patrol and Detector dog. Good. His stay. lifeline is Staff Sergeant Alex <laughs> Campanero. He's just like every other dog to me, except he has a purpose. It's not just he's going home to play on the couch. He's one of an eight-dog squadron made up of German Shepherds and Belgian Malinois, playing a vital role at Malmstrom Air Force Base. Kennel Master Robert Coughlin. They rotate. Um, shifts and they have a assigned handler. They first must go through report training when they're assigned a handler and then we do 90 days of training. Um, at the end of the 90 days of training they are validated to work and they are put on the road for various patrol tasks. Rapport goes miles when the safety of a base relies in their paws. Like I would never just go up to my dog and just kind of roughhouse him and be like hey bud like let's go play. Just he might think I'm trying to attack him. He might take it as a negative. These dogs do have a switch. So you just kind of be careful like what you do and how you do it. Trust is the fruit of a friendship. You have to be able to trust your dog to do anything. If you're scared of your dog, if you don't think that he's 100% capable of doing everything, if there's any doubts, it's not really a good team. So you have to be able to put like 100% trust in your dog. Giving Staff Sergeant Campanero and Paul an everlasting bond. It definitely just gives me like a sense of purpose. Like we're here for a reason and just doing our job every day, seeing our progression coming from something super small and our issues that we had when I originally picked him up to now, you just see all the progression that you make. The watchdog of the United States Air Force. Good stay. At Malmstrom Air Force Base, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.